Hey, what's up everybody? A couple of days ago I was sent out this mystery box by Elixar. They've got a full range of accessories for the Samsung Galaxy S8 and S8 Plus. And being that they sent these out to me, and you know what we do on the channel, I had to share them with you. On their website, they've got an all-around collection, so if you check them out, you'll be sure to find something. But today, we're going to focus on these tempered glass screen protectors in the cases that they've sent me. As you can see, there's quite a bit of things here for me to review, and we'll get to those. Because today, we're starting with the tempered glass screen protector for the Galaxy S8 Plus. And this one's brought to us by Elixar. In terms of specs, as you can see here, it says that it's touch sensitive, it's very clear, it's got an oleophobic coating, and it's scratch resistant. Now because I only have one of these for the S8 Plus, I can't put this protector through the normal testing that I would go through. So I say to our friends over at Elixar, if you're listening, I'll need at least two more. Inside the packaging, you'll find the installation kit, along with the protector itself. Now before the video, I gotta admit I already opened up the package and I looked at this protector. I just wanted to make sure that it would be good for the video. As we learned last year when it comes to curved screen protectors, there's not going to be any adhesive in the middle. I'll also just say right now because I see it, I'm hoping that these rainbows are from the protective film, but we'll take a closer look at that shortly. One thing you should also take note of right now is that this protector has adhesive along the edges. Not just the top and bottom, but the sides as well. This was one of the things that I thought was wrong about the OtterBox protector. The fact that it didn't have adhesive along the edges and it allowed dust to flow through. And once that happened, the only way I found to get rid of it was to remove the protector. And with this one, it seems like Elixar is fixed set. Inside the accessory kit, you'll find a wet wipe, a dust remover, and a lint cloth. We've got all the tools that we need, so let's go ahead and get started. First, you'll take the wet wipe and clean your phone, and I mean thoroughly clean your phone. The key here is to make sure that you don't leave anything on the display, so take the time that you need to get this done. Yes, this is a new phone, so this doesn't take long, but I just like to make sure that it's clean. Next, we'll take the microfiber cloth and dry the display. During this step, you want to make sure that you completely dry the display, because what I've found during some of my past installations is that if you leave any residue on the display, if it dries there, it has the potential to show up underneath the protector, so you want to make sure that you don't do that. When you finish this step, we're ready to move on. Lastly, just make sure that you dry your fingertips because you don't want any oils getting back on the display after you've spent all that time to clean it. Coming back to the protector, let's take a closer look. We'll start by removing the protective film. And this way, we can get a better and closer look at that adhesive that runs around the perimeter. As you can see here, there's not a whole lot, and that makes me wonder how long the protector will actually stay in place. But I guess only time will tell. These dots here, we've seen those before. We know that they help to reduce the rainbow effect. If you're not quite sure what that is, I've got a video on the channel and I'll leave the link down below. When it comes to clarity, up close and personal, you can see that things here are crystal clear, so I'd say we're off to a good start. Now that we've got that preliminary test out of the way, let's go ahead and install this protector. From behind the camera, I'm trying to make sure that I get this done right. I gotta take my time here, because as I mentioned earlier, this is the only one that I have. And when you install yours and you're not behind the camera, you should think the same. I use the sensors at the top of the phone to line up the glass, along with the bottom to make sure that I get it centered. And when everything's set, I slowly lower down the protector. I'd say based on this adhesive, you'd get one, maybe two times max to try this. So like you always hear me say, take your time. And if you're sure, Go ahead and release the protector. Okay, so now that we've got that done, let's go ahead and take a look at our work. And while we do that, I'll just use the microfiber cloth to go around the edges of the protector here to make sure that we've got a nice and good seal. I see here that along the right hand side, I added about another millimeter over that I could have gone, but you know, whatever, it's on here. Along the top, as you can see here, none of the sensors are covered, and with the screen off, you can also see here that the adhesive runs down the side from the top to the bottom. With the display on, it's not as noticeable, but you still will see it. So right now it's just something to take note of. With this screen protector, Elixar does says that the design of it is extremely case friendly. The design here is not totally unfamiliar to us, and I can tell you right now I don't expect that to be an issue as well. But before we get to that, let's take a look at the touch sensitivity. I mean, if we can't use the display as intended, then it's already a no-go before we pair it with a case. 
And before we go down any one path too deep, I just want to put this disclaimer out there right now that I've only been using this protector for maybe about an hour or so. And that's the time that I spend with it that you guys don't get to see on the camera right now. Just keep in mind that this protector will be here until I apply another one, and it looks like that's at least a week right now. So at the end of that time, I'll have tons of information to share. But right now and today with the limited testing that I'm doing, I can tell you that I don't see any issues. And if you guys have ever used a bad screen protector before, then you'd know right away when there's touch sensitivity issues. For example, on other protectors, I can tell you that the letter A was an issue, the space bar was an issue, the extreme corners were an issue, and with this protector, there's none of that. But as I mentioned earlier, I'm hoping that I can get another one or two of these so that I can put this protector through a full test. Alright, so let's move on. As you can see here, and I had to point this out, there's a tiny little rainbow here. I noticed this after my keyboard test, so I wanted to point this out. As of right now, in this point in this video, it's hours later and I can say that that rainbow's gone. But, you know, that doesn't mean that it's not going to come back. Alright, so let's move on. You may also remember seeing that Elixir sent cases in this mystery box, so let's take a look at those and pair it with the protector. Keep in mind that this video is for the review of the protector, not the actual cases itself. That's going to be a separate video. What I want to point out here is the fact that, like I said, there's a gap that runs around the edge of the protector. It's this that actually makes the protector case friendly. See, what you need here is enough room to allow the case to rise up over the curved edge of the display, but not push up on the protector. And when you have a protector that's made like this, now you can see why it becomes dubbed case friendly. Okay, so let's say Elixir got the design right, and in fact, this may be the new design that we're just going to start seeing for these types of displays. And this may be fine and dandy, just as long as it ticks all the other boxes as well, but you know, that's what I'm here to find out. Right now, when it comes to this tempered glass screen protector, I'm going to say that for the S8 Plus, it's definitely a contender, and I know you're going to ask me which is why I paired it with the Neo Hybrid. Anytime I bring up a tempered glass screen protector, you guys always ask about this speaking case. So yes, it works. Okay, so there you have it. That's two videos today. This tempered glass screen protector is definitely in the running, so leave all your questions below. Okay, so there you guys have it. <laughs> Boy, has it been a long day. Two videos in one day. We've got a lot of ground to cover for the Galaxy S8 and the S8 Plus, and the journey starts today. This is our first full screen tempered glass screen protector, and I gotta say, right now I'm pleasantly surprised. It's got good clarity, it's touch sensitive, and one of the most important things, it also pairs with many cases. In fact, we'll see just how many when we get to the full comparison. It has a 9H hardness rating, but I didn't get to test that, but best believe if I get another protector I will. Anyway, to sum things up, I'm saying this one's a go. Keep it on your list. If you want to purchase it right now, the link's down below, so go ahead and check it out. And with that, let me say, if you're new to the channel, now would be the time to go ahead and click that subscribe button for more content like this. Welcome to the channel. If you've enjoyed this video, do leave a thumbs up while you're at it. As always, I'd like to thank you for watching, and I'll talk to you in my next one.